Oh no, the cookies are coming up. Okay, hold on, hold on. I think I just need to kind of tuck them under. Hi, I'm Alexis Tabashnik, and today I'm gonna to make another retro dish from a vintage edition of Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. Today I'm gonna to make something called a fruit cocktail parfait pie. I feel particularly excited about this recipe because it combines a few of my childhood favorites, fruit cocktail, vanilla wafers, ice cream. I'm like, there's no way this can't be delicious. So first the recipe says to drain the fruit, reserving the syrup. I love in so many of these recipes that they use all of an ingredient, even if it's something like fruit cocktail. I used to love this stuff. I haven't had it in like, I don't know, 30 years. Okay, so now, ooh. Should have done it in here, that's okay. So it says to add enough water to make it one full cup, and then I'm gonna bring it to a boil. This recipe uses gelatin, as many of these recipes from the 50s do. It seems like whenever they're used in these recipes, there's ju they're just like, we want this to like really jiggle. We want this to be like, jiggle, jiggle. They're using lemon flavored gelatin. Ooh, it's very yellow. So add a little more flavor to this pie. Wow, that is super yellow. Okay, now the recipe calls for adding another half cup of cold water. I really don't understand why you're kind of adding water at so many different intervals, but there must be a reason. It doesn't say what to do now, so I'm just gonna turn the heat off. Okay, now this part's fun. Cut the ice cream into six pieces. This method is used sometimes. It's like a reverse creme anglaise, so you just melt the ice cream to kind of like get a custard base. This was also popular a few years ago when people were like melting the ice cream and then like adding cake mix to make a cake. Same principle. This feels, this feels wrong. Okay. And now the recipe says to just add the ice cream straight to the hot mixture and stir until melted. I, I've never made anything like this. This mixture looks really interesting because it is starting to thicken. It kind of looks like, like lemony whipped cream. Okay, now I've got to chill this. Still a few pieces of ice cream. Give it another stir. It says to chill this until the mixture begins to thicken. Oh, and it actually gives a time, about 15 to 20 minutes. So many of these recipes don't really give timing and I'm really grateful that this one does. I'll be back. Okay, my filling is really firming up now. And the recipe says to just add the fruit cocktail and give it a stir. Ooh, so it's kind of like a thickened custard at this point. Okay, next up it says to make the cookie crust, spelled C-O-O-K-Y, which I think interesting. It says to line the bottom with vanilla wafers. I thought these were like the best cookies of all time when I was five. It also says to crumble a few wafers to fill in the chunks of the bottom crust. That I can do. I've made a lot of cookie crusts, but this is kind of one of the strangest, although I see where they're going with it. Not the prettiest crust I've ever made, but I think it'll work. Now this filling goes in. Oh no, the cookies are coming up. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, hold on, hold on. I think I just need to kind of tuck them under smooth the top and like no one will know. Beautiful. Okay, and now I think I can stick these. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Okay, beautiful. It says to chill this again for 45 minutes. Okay, my pie is very set. Like it doesn't move at all. And I think it looks pretty good, but I'm kind of bummed that it doesn't match the photo. Like, according to the recipe, this pie is finished, but it feels like it looks unfinished to me. Like, this is so exciting. And you know, I don't have a bay leaf plant around to like stick in. I don't have any more whipped cream, but I do have some more fruit cocktails. So I'm gonna add a few more pieces just to zhuzh it up. They're kind of like scattered abstractly around, so I'll do the same. The more I look at this pie, the cuter I think it is. But I'm really curious what's gonna happen when I slice into it. Oh! 
It's actually, it's really firm. Maybe that's why so much gelatin was used. I will say that the wafers have gotten like kind of soggy. That is actually like kind of better than what I expected. It's, it's got some good jiggle. I'm like, is this going to be like ice cream jello? Is that the vibe? It tastes familiar. It's kind of like a really set like panna cotta. And the flavor is pretty good. It does taste quite sweet. Um, it's a bit sweeter than, you know, if I was making a dessert today, I'd probably cut down on the sugar a bit, but it's not bad. I like the, I really like the fruit in it. Like it kind of feels like every bite has a new surprise. The wafers actually kind of like disappear in it. I wish I could have gotten like a little more wafer in it. And I think because it was chilled so much, the wafers really became soggy and kind of like disintegrated. But I think this is surprisingly good. This feels like the epitome of a 50s dessert. If I were to make, you know, a more modern interpretation, you know, I might turn to one of the Better Homes and Gardens many trifle recipes, you know, kind of layering the wafers with cream and fruit. Love a trifle, also come together quickly. Can we just talk about the name for a second? This is called a fruit cocktail parfait pie. Obviously the fruit cocktail is self-explanatory, but the parfait part, what gives? This isn't really a parfait. I would just call this like a, a cocktail cream pie. If I was in charge, that's what it would be called. Let me know in the comments if you've ever made anything like this before or if you would. 